Hey everyone, it's Jessica. I'm back with another layout for the Thermal Web Design Team. Today I am making this beautiful flamingo layout for one of my pictures from one of our visits to the zoo. So I'm going to show you how I'm using my Easy Cut Adhesive today. What I've done is I have already already cut out everything on my cutting machine. I have an electronic cutting machine, so I've already adhered my Easy Cut Adhesive to a sheet of white cardstock. And I did that just by peeling off one of the backing sheets and placing it right on my cardstock. And then I cut my pieces out on my electronic cutting machine. And then here I have pulled them off of my cutting mat. And you can see I've pulled out some white flock here. I have peeled off the rest of the backing and then I've just put that um, adhesive side down right on top of that flocking sheet on the fuzzy side. And then I'm gonna give this a run through my hot laminating machine just to make sure everything is nice and adhered and transfers well on that flock design. So I'm using a couple different colors here for the flock. So I'm using black for the legs and the eyelashes um, and a little piece of the beak there. And I think a little piece of the hat too is on there. And I'm just trimming it down so I'm only running through exactly what I need. So I'm not wasting any of it. And then I'm just sandwiching this through my craft and carrier sheet. Everything has come out of my hot laminator. I've used white, black, and pink. My white is actually doing double duty for my darker shade of pink, which I'm going to apply some um, Distress Oxides with blending brushes here to actually make it the color that I want. I love having the white flock in stock. That way I can make any color of ink that I have and it really coordinates well with all of my layouts. And the white flock is actually doing double duty as well for the hat. So I didn't have anything that color in the flock. I was going to use um, the Tuscan gold would have been a good one, um, but it was a little bit darker than what I wanted for this nice summery layout. So I decided to use some Tattered Rose Distress Oxide for that. And then the pinks, I used a blend of Kitchen Mingo and Picked Raspberry. So um, I really, really love how that pink, the dark pink came out. It was, um, it's a little bit darker towards the outside of the feathers and then I left the middle open because I'm just going to apply the wing here anyways so I left that there and I do have to use adhesive for my layers because I use the easy cut adhesive to transfer the flock and transfer it onto the cardstock so I still need to stick all those layers together so I've pulled out my ultra bond liquid adhesive to adhere the wing down to the flamingo and then I'm just using some more of that to apply the body to my um, full sheet of cardstock there. I did cut it once in a full, just a full sheet um, of cardstock for the full piece. That way I could attach all of my individual pieces to that. So um, I had something to anchor everything to. And then I'm just using that liquid glue just to adhere all of those little pieces on. I'm going to make my little hat here to finish that off. This is my little black stripe. And um, I got this cut file online through Etsy. Um, I can link that cut file below for you guys if you would like to grab it. And um, I actually thought this hat would look really cute with a little flower on it. So um, I think I'm going to add a little bit, um, a little flower just to her hat so she looks a little bit more feminine. Um, she just looks like a little tourist and I just love it. <laughs> And then um, here's my papers I picked out for this. I have my photo here. I've already matted it with some smooth white cardstock. I picked out a few 49 and Market papers that I thought would go well with this little flamingo. I really like that circle design. I instantly discarded the other pink ones. <laughs> I was going to go with this, but then I really, really liked how the black in this one really popped that flamingo and made it stand out. So I'm going to use this black one. And then I found this little title piece that is also by 49 and Market. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna actually make my title say Flamingo Favorite because this was um, my absolute favorite thing in the park that day. Um, we went during Asian Lantern Fest to the Pittsburgh Zoo and they have all these Asian lanterns set up of all different kinds of animals and just really, really cool things. So this was my favorite one from the day that had these cute flamingos and that one is just giant. It's bigger and taller than we are, so it was really cool. Um, so I decided to take a picture by that and I want to put flamingo favorite as my photo. So I'm going to pull in some other letters here in a minute. I did some fussy cutting here by pulling out my Ulfa mat and um, my X-Acto knife by them. I really like them. Um, 
I can link those below for you too if you want to grab them but I did that off camera because it does take me a while to fussy cut all of these little flowers and um, those are all from the Coco Vanilla Studio Sunkiss collection which I'm still using I still have little bits and pieces of that collection left so I'm really trying to use them up I promise I'm trying but I still have little bits and pieces that are in my stash so I'm kind of making that a goal for myself this summer to use up a lot of the stash that I have instead of buying more um, other than all my adhesives and things from Thermoweb um, that I need all the time so I'm not buying um, more th things to add to my stash but um, just kind of stocking up on adhesives and essentials so I did just order some cardstock so I'm good to go on that I'm playing cardstock um, and I'm good to go on everything else I think for now so now it's just time to use some things up so here's my title. I'm gonna add these Bella Boulevard letters. These are the Bella Florence letters. I'm just gonna add these on so that that'll say Flamingo Favorite because it's, again, my favorite photo from the trip. And I just loved it. And then um, I'm gonna pull in some stickers and some just miscellaneous things. I'm not gonna add a whole, whole lot to this layout because it's pretty good the way that it is. I just wanna enhance it a little bit. So I found this little destination sticker by Ellie's Studio that I got recently um, <laughs> from my last, my last order that I placed before I decided to put myself on a freeze. <laughs> And I'm just gonna write the Pittsburgh Zoo on that little tag and then I'm gonna pop that down on my layout somewhere and these little hearts are from that same 49 and market collection that I got the title piece from so I'm gonna use those little pink hearts on this layout as well just kind of scatter them around I had a play with this I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted it to go it looked cute up by my title but kind of looked like it was just popping out of nowhere so um, I decided to put it over here and kind of build on that side of the layout and add some interest over there and then I'm just gonna add a few a few of these little hearts they aren't sticky on the back which I thought for sure they used to be but maybe I'm crazy I don't know I thought their chipboards were sticky so there I was trying to peel off the backing and here I was just peeling the card the um, chipboard apart <laughs> because they're not sticky so I did have to use a little bit of my adhesive on that to stick those down and as you can see I'm alternating today between using um, my tape gun I have the memory XL tape gun which I absolutely love and it's pink so that's a big bonus too and <laughs> it goes right with this layout right and then I am using my liquid ultra bond glue which dries clear um, and then I've used some easy tear tape for my photo and sticking that down and I kind of like to use that on the bigger areas and I, I like to use the half inch size myself and the other adhesive that I used as well is um, obviously that easy cut adhesive that I used on my cut file. So I'm just pulling out that flower, um, kind of looking through what I have left in this collection. I still have quite a bit of these little die cuts that I need to use up, um, but I really like the little pink flower that I had left in there. I'm gonna cut it in half and just use half of it because I'm tucking it in behind that flamingo anyways. So I'm gonna pop it down right there just to finish that little embellishment cluster off. I kind of ended up building out my layout. Um, I built those flowers the whole way around my flamingo, but I just love it because it kind of looks like it's popping out of the jungle. So <laughs> I think it fits in well. And then I'm just finishing off these little um, bits and pieces with my Ultra Bond glue. I pulled out this stamp set by Ellie's Studio. This is the Thankful stamp set and that Kitsch Flamingo um, color that I was using earlier. And I'm just going to add a few of these little plus signs just for some extra um, something on this layout and then that little road trip thing I didn't really like it over there by itself so I ended up moving it on the left there and adding a couple more hearts just to um, put that little road trip car by my destination tag and there's my little flower I found that chipboard in my stash deep in my stash and it's so tiny and then I'm going to finish this off by just punching out some photo corners with this, um, I think it's by We Are Memory Keepers punch. And you have to push kind of hard whenever, or squeeze kind of hard on that punch so that it embosses it as well. So you have the fold lines. It makes it a lot easier to fold those. But some of mine I didn't press hard enough, so I had to use my bone folder on. And then I'm just going to use more of this liquid glue to adhere these down to my actual layout. So um, it dries actually pretty quick. So uh, once you put that on, it does dry clear and it dries pretty fast. So it's one of my favorite adhesives to use for stuff like this. 
And I like um, to use it on cut files too. It's really nice for that. So I'm just finishing up those photo corners and then here is the finished layout here in a second that you'll see. I think that's the last one. I'll link everything down below for you guys too in case you want to grab anything from the shop. I'll put all the links in there for you. So here's the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process video and learned a thing or two. And um, I hope I have inspired you to create something beautiful today. So thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.